Hi guys, this is Hailey. Today I'm going to show you this cat eye makeup look with using only black on makeup brand. This is something I really wanted to do when this Black Lives Matter movement happened because I'm in Korea right now so it took almost like over three weeks to get the products from beauty brands. So I think this can be a little late and also I couldn't get any products from small indie brands as they are shipped to only US so all of the brands I mentioned today are pretty big instead I'm gonna put a list of small indie black owned beauty brands you can support so please check it out on the description box once I decide to do this video I start to look all of my beauty products, makeup products I realized that I don't have that much product from black owned beauty brands so from now I will definitely spend more money on their brands and their products are amazing I hope this video makes you have a chance to look more products from black owned beauty brands all the products I use for today is amazing and I really really like this look it looks very sophisticated and it doesn't look heavy as much as my conventional smoky eye makeup look if you want to how I achieve this look and want to know what products I use, please keep on watching. So for base, I'm going to start with a foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and I'm using the shade 290. I'm going to mix this foundation with this hydrating primer. This is also from Fenty Beauty. The reason why I mix these two products is because I'm not a big fan of matte high coverage foundation my skin is really really dry and i don't want my skin look really flawless or just one single shade so i just want to neutralize the coverage and also this matte finish to more hydrating and more natural as you guys know well of course fenty beauty is founded by rihanna and it is actually under lvmh group so you might think that is it truly black owned beauty business but i think it is a personal choice to support brands under lvmh group or not and i believe that this fenty beauty made a change in the beauty industry by making 40 different shades of foundation and this shade 290 is just like perfectly matched with my skin tone i think this shade will be my most favorite foundation shade this year my skin cannot be defined as a warm undertone because if i wear warm undertone shade foundation it looks too yellowy on my skin and if i apply cool undertone foundation i think it is little bit pinker on my skin and this shade 290 is for someone who have warm olive undertones i even couldn't find my own shade in mac foundations because i know they have like around 60 shade but there is no like perfect shade for my skin tone so i just want to explain how i really impressed about this foundation shade if you go to website there's like a quiz to find your own shade so you can help from their website and once this foundation dries, it's really really hard to spread the product so it's really important to blend really quickly but I'm not going to use this product all over my face I still want to get a natural look with this high coverage foundation so I'm going to mainly apply on the center of my face it could be from cheek, forehead, around my eyes and lips so yeah So I finished applying a foundation and I'm going to cover some blemishes on my face and dark circles. And for concealer, I'm going to use this Oma Beauty's Stay Walk Concealer in the shade Honey Honey. Oma Beauty is founded by Sharon Shutter. She saw the lack of inclusivity in beauty industry and wanted to make a real change. So that's why she created this brand Oma Beauty and I brought their concealer and I think this has really high coverage and pretty matte finish. As it's really hot and humid, I start to look for more matte finish base makeup product because I become really really oily nowadays. And the shade is a little bit lighter than my natural skin color because I normally use a concealer under my eye area so I just want to brighten them. And I'm going to use a concealer brush to get really really thin layer of it. So using this shade I'm going to place it under my eye area and also I'm going to cover some pyperpigmentation 
and any blemishes on my face with this little concealer brush. So I've done with my base makeup and then I'm moving on to eye makeup. For eye makeup, I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette from Oma Beauty and it's called Black Magic Color Palette. And you can see that they have pretty deep shade ranges. Their quality is, is so good. Even though they are deep shades, it never goes patchy. It blends really, really smoothly. So I'm going to create a cat eye makeup look, eyeshadow look with using the shades in this palette. So I'm going to start with this brown shade called Omo. It's like a mid-tone brown shade. For cat eye look, you are going to want to match up the corner of your eye with the end of your nose. If you find right angle, you will do all eyeshadow and eyeliner work along with that angle. And you're kind of extending your eye shape towards your temple. First, with this medium brown shade, I'm going to start with the outer portion of my eyes and follow my bottom lash lines. I'm not going to trace my socket line or do a circular motion towards inner corner of my eyes. Just focus on the outer part and sweep up. It is very very important to use small amount to give like a suggestion of contour rather than a brown smudge. I'm making a triangle and diffusing a little bit more. Moving on to darker shades, it is deep brown shade. I will do the same thing but apply on smaller area than I did previously. I'm also trying to not to go to blow, almost towards bottom lash lines. But don't worry if you did, you will clean it with a concealer afterward anyway. As a final step for eyeshadow look, I'm taking this matte black shade. Using this angled flat brush, which can be used as an eyeliner brush, I'm gonna go more precise, like a create a wing. And then I'm smudging lightly to mix them all together. After finishing whole step of the eyeshadow for cat eye look, I'm taking this concealer again and using a concealer brush, I am cleaning in between lower lash lines and upper lash line to make this cat eye look more dramatic. For eyeliner, I'm going to use this Pat McGrath Labs eyeliner. This brand Pat McGrath Labs is founded by Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath is one of the most influential makeup artists. If you see her work, it's just amazing. She believes that makeup is something to enhance your feature rather than just wearing a mask. I'm just going to draw wing eyeliner along the baseline or guidelines with eyeshadow. I'm not going to draw really thick or really long eyeliner. Instead, I'm going to make like a really natural thin cat eyeliner. And I'm going to put some mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use this also Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. This has really fat brush applicators, so it gives you really intense, thickening, voluminous lash look. And I am mainly focusing on the outer part of my lashes because I am not going to put any like fake lashes. So instead, I'm going to make more like fake lashy effect with uh, putting more mascara on the outer part of my lashes. After curling my lashes and putting some mascara primer, I am going to 
apply this mascara lightly all over my eyelashes. I'm going to add in one more layer on the outer of my lashes. And I'm not going to put any mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm just going to maintain this lifted eye look without applying mascara on my lower lashes. So I finished to put some mascara and I think I want to add more of uh, shade with eyeshadow I used previously. I add more shade on the outer of my eyes. For brows, I'm going to use this brow pencil from Fenty. I'm not going to draw any lines here because I want my eyebrows more like straight. So I've done my brows and I'm moving on to bronzer. For bronzer, I'm using my favorite bronzer from Fenty. The reason why I love this bronzer is really really close to my natural skin color and it just blends really well with my bare face. For cat eye look, I also want to make my face more lifted. So I'm going to apply bronzer like this way. Instead of making my face rounded, I'm making my face shape more like lifted and very sharp. So I finished apply a bronzer and I'm moving on to lipstick. For lipstick, I'm using this Oma Beauty Badass Matte Lipstick. This is a shade Ursa. I don't know if I pronounce correctly. And this is really matte nude lipsticks and it is more in cool side because I want to get all the attention on my eyes so I'm just going to apply this all over my leaves for highlighter I'm using the one from Fenty and I'm going to mix these two shades I'm going to apply on the top of my cheekbones because if I highlight that part the eyes will look more lifted and then I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose, forehead, chin as well. So this is my cat eye makeup look with using only black on makeup brands. I hope you guys find this video very helpful to know how to do cat eye, natural cat eye makeup look and also behind the scene of these all brands. For me, it was a good opportunity to know how I spent my money on. From now, I will definitely purchase more product from black on makeup brands and just beauty brands. And please let me know if there's any of your favorite black on beauty brands. I'd like to know about it. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!